don't get a minute, do we? It's, it's <laughs> what, you just and get the discus. That's right. And then suddenly it's the men's, men's 400. Men's 400 metres T36 class. Okay, okay, T36. Have another go. T, T for track, three, yes. three for cerebral palsy, six for not particularly uh, impaired. Middle of the road, yeah, middle, middle of the road. Middle, yeah. Yeah. Eight would be not particularly impaired. Would That's right, yeah, eight's okay. the mildest. Six is usually um, lower limbs affected. I feel under pressure when you ask me those. You're doing great. Quiz, we can have a bit of a quiz, <laughs> quiz going. Yeah, maybe Send us questions in. <laughs> maybe there could be a gift for the winner. <laughs> Uh, Cheryl van der Merwe says um, it's a Twitter handle. Yeah, a Twitter handle. You know, I saying is it Twitter name or Twitter address? A Twitter handle. Twitter handle. Yeah, you know, I was saying is it a Twitter name or address? And uh, they'd like to follow you, but your account is locked apparently. Do you have an account I on do. Twitter? All oh, right. Okay. Oh, you should be able to. Oh, maybe I have to say yes. I'll let you follow me. So uh, send oh, me a request it. and I'll, I'll be doing it as we speak tonight. What is your Twitter handle? My handle yeah. is Katrina L. Webb. Which My middle name is Lee, so Katrina L. Webb. I couldn't get Katrina Webb because someone else had it before me. Katrina L. Webb. Yeah, I couldn't get Jeremy Nicholas. I had to have Jeremy underscore Nicholas because <laughs> my middle name is underscore. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So here we go, Paul Blake, lane five. Wow, what a moment for him. Just 22 years of age from Great Britain. His PB is 55.20, which he set earlier this year. And he'll be one of the favorites in this race because he's, uh, he's got far and away the best PB. There's the Russian. So the competition could well come from uh, Shvetkov, we saw the other night from Russia. That's the other Russian, Arafiev. And Mia Che of China, Che Mian, and Andrei Zhernov on the outside from Russia. Just looking at the different countries in these races, Russia and Ukraine and Great Britain, we were talking today at lunch just saying, how can we get the Paralympi Paralympic movement into other countries, other developing countries? And I think you'll see now for the next four to eight years, emphasis placed on countries like India mm. that are uh, really not participating in the games. So 2682, Shvetkov of Russia, look out for him, and 2306 in the colours of Great Britain, white and blue. World record of 54.13. It's the men's 400 metres, T36 for runners with cerebral palsy, the final. Gold, silver and bronze on offer. And the world record holder, Roman Pavlik, in the race. Lane four. And they're out of the blocks as fast, going well. Just getting the feed. Pavlik is storming in lane four. Roman Pavlik, the world record holder, is going extremely well. The Brits going very well, Blake as well. But it's uh, Pavlik who's going very well. Both the Russians doing well as well. Shvetkov, it's hard to see who's going to get this one. It's uh, Shvetkov in the lead. He's being tracked by the Briton, Blake. It's Shvetkov, then Blake. Then it's the other Russian and uh, the Ukrainian who went off really quickly, Pavlik, uh, is now coming back into it. But it's uh, Shvetkov in the lead. Yevgeny Shvetkov being tracked by Paul Blake of Great Britain. The crowd roaring Blake on, but it's Shvetkov who's going to get it. Shvetkov of Russia is going to get gold. Blake will get the silver and the Ukrainian will have to settle for bronze. They're just tying up a little bit towards the end, but Shvetkov of Russia gets him. it and w it's a world record he was tiring at the end he didn't even finish through the line to break a real world record 53 32 all three of the the lead runners there just seemed that they didn't enjoy the last uh, <laughs> 30 meters or so they just tied up because they'd given so much the lactic acid really builds up in a race like that and uh, 53 31 for Evgeny Shvetkov that is a new world record personal best for Paul Blake in second personal best for the former world record holder Roman Pavlik of the Ukraine in third. And the Russians absolutely oh, delighted. Absolutely delighted. And you could see quite interesting in the, wa in the race how his cerebral palsy actually affects his face as well. Um, and coming around the bend, even just that, mo that motion in his face doesn't seem to throw. You can look here now, he's sort of, there's his cerebral palsy just kicking in and he's coming around. Checking the field, but it is still involuntary sort of spasm, I suppose, that I can talk about. 
normally with cerebral palsy you do see athletes really start to tire but look at him go he has worked so hard to make sure that his strength overpowers the tiredness you can get from having cerebral palsy and and just is it because he's got cerebral palsy that he gets tired or is it because he gets tired that his cerebral palsy shows more or is it both it, 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 seem, it yes. seems when he's tired that he, yes. you can see he's he, more obviously that he has cerebral palsy. Well, you look at the times they're running, uh, 53.31, that is fast. Mm. It is fast. So to have, if you could understand the level um, of their tone and tension they have in their body just to move around, to, to run 53 seconds is incredible. And these guys train full time. They have probably had moments where they, their cerebral palsy really kicks in. But just like, I was going to say like you or me, but I have cerebral <laughs> palsy, but uh, now I'm not competing anymore. But like anybody, if you're not trained and prepared, you will tire. So just because they have cerebral palsy, um, that shouldn't you know, impact because their level of training should override their mm. disability towards the end. And a great example of it. Yeah. My only disability is premature baldness. <laughs> which, uh, and I looked and there's not an event for that, so it looks like I'll never be a Paralympian. And also, I was dreadful at sport at school. I play a bit of golf, but there we are. Uh, let's just get a few questions. Uh, Marcus G. Fisher says, what about an online vote to see which tracksuit is the best? Marcus goes for Russia first, Ukraine second. Ah. And uh, people saying it's great to uh, have a Paralympic commentators, you know, have a 